Adat, a Malay traditional caste system, also plays a significant role in determining views on human rights. Where are the Adat codes derived from? One particular source of Adat is Peribahasa or Proverbs. Rich in style and content, Malay Proverbs are daily codes of life for the Malays and are regarded as unofficial laws or moral guidelines to adhere to. Proverbs educate people with simple truth that can be applied and often used to make a decision. Said Hussein Alatas suggests the urgency to restore and to understand Malay proverbs in order to unlock hidden concepts or unfamiliar ideas involving the Malays. He stressed that proverbs and sayings are good indicator to understand any ethnic group. Suggestive proverbs contain beliefs and demands, while reprimandative proverbs often strike out to advise or to prevent, which indicate that there are certain values being held. Malay proverbs made their inaugural appearance at the United Nations in 1957. During the general debate of the United Nations at the 12th session in that particular year, Ismail Abdurrahman, Malaya's first permanent head of Federation to the United Nations in New York, proclaimed a simple Malay proverb in order to explain the struggles of a newborn state like Malaya to deal with the domination of colonial powers. Gajah berjuang, rumput juga yang berasa. According to his translation, when elephants clash, it is the grass that is destroyed. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights covers 30 articles that include civil, political, economic, and cultural rights. Article 1 and 2 are generally proclaiming that all human beings are born free and equal in dignity and rights, and are entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration, without distinction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth or other status. It is from these common points, freedom, liberty, equality and dignity, stated in both declarations that comparisons between meanings or objective of the Malay proverbs and general human rights demand will be drawn. Another popular proverb among the Malays living in coast is Kuat Ikan Krana Radai or the fish is strong because of its fins which means every person has his or her place in the society and their own necessities. Similar to the previous proverb is Lain Lubo Lain Ikanya or a different fishing hole, different fish, which means each person has his or her own character and needs to fulfill. Another common right upheld in Malay proverb is the individual rights to freedom. An example for this point is Kita semua mati tapi kubur masing-masing, which is translated by C.C. Brown as all of us die but each has his own grave. This suggestive proverb explains that each individual will be responsible for their own actions. Thus, freedom is secured for them to do anything they wish for, but they also have to bear the consequences. There are many different proverbs carrying the same messages that we are equal and that violating other rights will give bad repercussions. For example, a very widely used proverb even among the young generation is Ada ubi ada batas ada hari boleh balas. The most famous proverb on freedom of expression among the Malay is Orang berdendang di pentasnya, orang beraja di hatinya. You cannot control what people think and feel. Another widely accepted proverb regarding freedom of expression will be patah sayah, bertongkat paruh, or if your wing is broken, support yourself with your beak, sending a message as, if you are going to oppose someone, do it with all your might. Malaya was a feudalistic society where the king or ruler was at the central position to decree yes or no. However, it is quite surprising that there are also many proverbs motivating people to challenge, to criticize, and to evaluate their leaders, thus not to follow them blindly if they, the rulers, violate the rights of the people. These political and provocative proverbs are not widely shared and observed by many. For example, take this suggestive proverb, Raja Adil, Raja Disembah, Raja Zalim, Raja Disanggah, or a just king will be respected and supported, a cruel and despotic king will be toppled. This perhaps can be linked to the 1699 failed revolution 
100 years before French Revolution, where historical documents stated that Malays toppled Sultan Muhammad of Johor Lama Kingdom and killed him for his despotic, brutal ways and massive corruption. Obvious, obvious, the people are still the base of their power as presented in this proverb. Kuat ketam kerana sepit, kuat sepit kerana ketam, kuat ketam dan sepit kerana wujud. Or in English, a crab is strong because of its claws. The claws are strong because of the crab, and the crab and claws are strong because of their form. This political proverb shows how the people or the public are those who put leaders in power on their throne or chair. From the discussion above, we can conclude that the spirit of human rights is not absent from the Malays and in accordance with the, their values of religion and universal ethic. I have two recommendations to be pondered in order to get this idea into our human rights policy. First, there are lessons to be learned from other civilization or approaches. My idea is to combine practical and moral grounds to reconcile conflicting practices when dealing with human rights. To apply opt-out strategy for women, for example, who choose not to participate in traditional cultures such as female circumcision if she thinks the tradition violates her rights. Second, in order for the first recommendation to be realized, a lot of work needs to be done. First, to codify the huge amounts of Malay proverbs into a practical and applicable law. There are a plethora of human rights values covered as hidden pearls in Malay traditions and this fact cannot be denied. This research was funded by a grant from Ministry of Education of Malaysia for the Mental Research Grant Scheme, FRGS, 2013 SS 03UKM 032. I would like to thank uh, Institute Alam and Tamadu Melayu and University Kebangsa Malaysia, and my research officers, Sheikh Suhaini Muhammad Noor and Mr. Shafiq Ali, for helping me during this research. Thank you.